Well, minutes ago, Tampa's Aria Knighton came in first in his heat for the semifinals, and now he hopes to make history on the track in Tokyo tomorrow and bring home the gold. Boy, is he fast, too. Unbelievable. He just zoomed on the track. <laughs> He's just 17 years old and is heading into his senior year at Hillsborough High School. Eight on your side's Christine McClarty live this morning at the school where she's speaking with the coaches who have helped train him over the years. Hey, Christine. Hey, good morning. So exciting. Just minutes ago, watching him cross that finish line first in his heat for the men's 200 meter semifinal race. He does do track and football also here at Hillsborough High School, home of the Big Red and his coaches say they are so proud to see him in the spotlight. He's an Olympian as a 17 year old and just turned 17 recently. So uh, world's the uh, the sky's the limit for this guy. Monday night, Arion Knighton breezed through the men's 200 meter qualifier, finishing first in his heat at 20 seconds and 55 milliseconds. Knighton gained fame two months ago when he beat Usain Bolt's under 18 world record. Head football coach at Hillsborough High, Earl Garcia, says before track, Knighton came out for football and is a joy to be around. A, a two and a half hour practice would, it, he'd come up to me in the middle of practice, put his arm around me, said, you like to fish? I'm like, get away from me, Arian. We're in the middle of football practice. So he's a lovable kid. It was Knighton's freshman year playing football that the track and field coach, Joe Sipp, says he discovered the team's running talent. But he says when he asked Knighton to join track, he was opposed. Monday when, when track practice uh, opened up, he didn't, he didn't come out. And I went to him and I said, you know what? I'm not asking you anymore. I'm telling you, you're running track. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now headed into his senior year, Knighton signed to go pro with Adidas. Coach Sip says during COVID, he let the team live with him and his family for six months so that he could help the team focus on training. His own son is also a senior, so the boys got into a routine of schoolwork and working out. Now, watching Knighton at the Olympics in Tokyo is emotional. I'm just thrilled, and I'm, I'm wishing him the best, and uh, uh, I hope he goes out there and, 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 uh, and makes us proud. I'm, I'm already proud of him, but I just hope he goes out there and, and uh, wins, a, wins a medal uh, at his first Olympics. I, I, I'll be ecstatic. And so will we. Knighton competes in the final race tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Tampa, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side. We are thrilled for him. Thanks, Christine.